What's up, Stepper? So the first thing you want to do is head over to my properties. And while this is loading, I'll explain to you what's going on today. So we're going to do the created list and we're going to filter out prop stream repeated homeowner names or duplicate homeowner names. So you see we have 633 leads that are on this list. We want to go ahead and download it. And as we download these leads, we'll recognize that although there are 633 different addresses, the same property owner can own that same can own different addresses. So you'll end up skip tracing the same exact person. All right, so let's export this. All right, so now that it's exported, we'll go ahead and pull it up right here. And I'm going to show you guys how to remove the actual repeated name on the list, which will save you thousands of dollars every year. So the first thing you want to do as your list is already downloaded right here, right? Is you want to identify the mailing care name. So the mailing care of name, this mailing care of name, you want to go to the right of that and you want to insert a column to the right of, or to the left of the mailing address, which is to the right of the mailing care name. Now in this column, we're trying to figure out how many times we see them. Right. How many times do we see Maria Algarcy on this list? Right now, here's the thing. I'm not only going to show you how many times you see them. So I'm not going to show you just how to do to remove duplicate owners. I'm going to show you how to remove duplicate owners, but to also keep the first instance, because that way you will be able to keep at least one time that they own a property. So you'll call them about one property so they can skip trace you know, multiple properties, right? So you'll call them about one and they'll be able to sell you other ones if they want to sell them. All right, so how many times? So the first thing we want to do, the function is FX count if, insert function, range. And I'm going to just go right through it, guys. I mean, you know, you don't really need to know the mechanics of it, but this is what it happens, right? This is works. So we M2 semicolon and then we click M2 again. So melon care name, right? Click that again and then criteria. So M2, M2 equals M2. This is the criteria. So now they're going to show us. We press done. And now you see one time, right? So Maria Algarcia, we see her one time right here. Now what's going to happen is it's going to, it's going to compare M3 to M2, right? So it's going to compare the previous one to every one. And what happens as we drag down this function, it will un we'll uncover, you know, how many times we see these people. Now... I'm going to go ahead and drag this down real quick. And again, this is very important, guys, because I mean, you know, it took me a minute to figure it out, but I was uploading my leads to Mojo and it keeps telling me I have repeated leads. But at the same time, when I do the marketing, you know, uh, one marketing list for the property, meaning that it's the same, it's one property, but it's just the same owner that's repeated. All right. So as you see, we scroll through and we can look, we can try to find. Uh, one, but right now, as you see, all we see is one, right? But we would want to see uh, twos, threes, fours. Mm, make sure we did this right. You got to make sure you do this right, guys, because you'll end up uh, dragging down the... Okay, so I did this wrong. So what happened, this is perfect. So I did this wrong, guys. So what happened here is I drug down the number one instead of the function itself, right? Because you know there's some repeated things on his list. So now let me go ahead and redo this. All right. So press Z out. Okay. Okay. So count if insert function M2 semicolon M2. Ah, the heck. All right, and then you go dollar sign, dollar sign, and guys, just make sure you're taking notes right here. Okay. M2, done. All right, here we go. Now let's drag this back down again. Now here we're dragging down a function instead of the number. And you, you got to make sure that you grab that, that uh, box right there. So we're going to drag this all the way down again. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. 
So right away, you see, we see number two right here, Sean Miller. So we see him twice. Now, instead of us going through in two, three, so now you see we, we see them now, right? We see these numbers, four or five. So this is how many times they've showed up on the list. But we only want to keep the first instance, guys. So what we want to do is insert. Oh, uh, just right click it. You don't have to do all this. Uh, and X out the function thing. All right, so mailing address, insert, and you want to go first instance. And guys, remember, if you scroll it down, double check yourself if you see all ones because you're probably not right. Or you could be right, but also could be wrong, and it pays to be right. So if you want to do an if, right? So this old first instance, we want to know when the first time happened. So when we see a one, right? So what this means is insert function. So the, it's a logical test, right? So if we see a one, so if n2 is equal to one, then it means that it's true, that we're only keeping the first instance, right? But if it doesn't equal one, so if it equals zero, six, five, four, whatever it is, then it's wrong. It's not true, it's wrong, it's false, whatever you wanna call it. And then that's done. Now what we do, remember, grab it on the edge right here. Grab that function on the edge. You're spreading the function, not true. If you spread true down, it'll say true all the way through. Now, what's going to happen is anytime you see anything other than one, you're going to get a true or false. Now, why is this good or true or wrong? This works, guys, because now we're getting the first instance. So instead of us having 640 properties and, you know, wasting our marketing dollars, we're saving our marketing dollars because now every time we see wrong, we can delete the lead. But this isn't enough. I want to take it one step further. So now from here, I want to press no right here, uh, X that out, and then press, are you recent, do you wanna know? Uh, okay, just wanna close that out up there for us. Um, right here, guys, I wanna go ahead and format it just a little bit more, right? So we wanna press home, conditional formatting, and then we're gonna do highlight cell rules, and then we're gonna say equal to, so we want to go ahead, instead of going through and trying to figure out whatever one, you know, specific one says wrong, we want these to be highlighted, right? So we're going to say, type in wrong right here. So we want to highlight red whatever cell in the first instant column says wrong. Look at that. Now, what this automatically does is point it out to us now, right? Again, guys, we're literally like, now instead of skip tracing these people more than once, you're saving it, right? But let me show you what this looks like. Now, you can do this whole list. You can skip trace the whole list and delete everything if you wanted to. Or you go here, and let's just say you want to select the first 150 leads, right? So you'll go from here, and you'll open up. You'll copy that, right? And then you'll open up book three. So just open up a new Excel spreadsheet. And, guys, this open this works with any Excel, um, any Excel thing that you want to use. This really works. So, like any Excel version. All right, Control Command V, depending on what you're using. Um, all right, so as you can see, now it says true, true, true. Now what we can do is go through, and first let's count how much money you just saved, right? So let's just say twenty cents a lead per skip trace. Well, let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, guys, that's 14 times 20 cents. And let's see, that's what, uh, $2.40 if my mathematic skills serve me correctly. I believe $2.40. Um, that being said, I just saved you $2.40 on 150 leads. So you're going to take away 14 leads and you're not going to have 14 of them. Um, so you're going to have, what, 136 leads. And, you know, that'll be around, you know, $13 or something. But that being said, guys, you just saved yourself a ton of time and money. Um, you know, that's the way you do it. From here, you will go through and just select it. And you can delete it like this. Or you can actually uh, format your list to show, you know, to basically bring the, the highlighted red cells up to the top. All right, guys, that's it. Um... If you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and let me know in the description or comment in it. Comment your questions down below. You know what I'm talking about. Until then, as next time, um, <laughs> get the stepping. All 
I have not been on screen for a while, and it feels weird not being on screen. It's crazy because I started off being on screen. But all right, guys, um, I started off being off screen is what I'm saying. All right, let me get out of here. Bye.